This is a short video to um, answer the question of how and why Newton's second law was applied in the throwing of this basketball in the game of around the world. I'll answer the question in P. Think what? Newton's second law states that an object will accelerate in proportion to the amount of force applied to it, and secondly, it will travel in the direction of the force applied to it. How? Mitch has applied Newton's second law in um, his basketball throw here um, in two ways. The first way is he has used the um, larger to smaller muscle groups um, in a sequence way to produce as much force on the basketball as possible. He's used the large muscle groups of his legs, his hips, his trunk, the smaller muscle groups of his shoulder and then his wrist. Um, uh, to produce as much force on that ball as possible. Let's see the results. As you can see, um, he gets a good amount of acceleration on the ball, therefore causing the Swiss ball to move further and gives him a, his team an extra point. If we just take it back a little bit, we can also see that he applies um, the second part of the law regarding direction, um, because what he does is he um, sets up his technique so his front foot's pointing in the direction that he wants the ball to go. Likewise, his front shoulder, um, if we go back a little bit, is at the start of the throw is pointing in the general direction of the ball. So once again, he gets a great amount of force and a good amount of direction, which ultimately results in the success. Uh, so what? A sporting example of this would be um, I say a softball pitch or a baseball pitch where the, um, the pitcher must apply an optimal amount of force onto the ball but also makes make sure that it is in the right direction. End of answer.